In 1970, a new era began for the Muscogee Creek Nation when tribal members were allowed to hold elections and vote for the principal chief of their tribe. For the first time in over 60 years, the Muscogee people once again had a voice in choosing their own leaders. Claude Cox was elected chief. He and a council of advisors began the difficult task of re-establishing the sovereignty of the Muscogee Creek Nation. After studying the problems faced by Indian people, Chief Cox focused on improving the housing, education, employment, and health care for Creek people. In addition, he had the dream of someday making his people self-sufficient, able to pay their own way and make their own governmental decisions. Chief Cox and his advisors also knew that the tribal government needed a new set of rules to operate by, a new constitution for the nation. During a remarkable decade of development, tribal officials began resolving these challenges facing the Muscogee people. Today, the Muscogee Creek Nation has a revitalized tribal government. A new constitution ratified in 1979 guides tribal affairs. And the modern Creek Nation tribal complex houses the many offices and programs that benefit Indian people. The Creek Nation Housing Authority, the Solomon McCombs Office Building, the Dental Clinic, the IAP building, the Indian Health Service, the General Administration building, and the Independent Agencies building, also known as the Mound. The Mound is modeled after an earthen lodge built by our people centuries ago in Georgia. That ancient mound was used during the days of the Muscogee Confederacy as a meeting place for the National Council. This modern mound is used for the same purpose today, but also houses many support services and community services that aid Creek people. Across the street to the northeast of the complex lies the Creek Nation Elderly Housing Project, providing quality apartment living for Creek elders. In addition, improved housing for all needy Indian people is available through Creek Nation. Hundreds of low and moderate income Indian families now own their own homes thanks to the Creek Nation Housing Authority. And hundreds of other families are experiencing a higher standard of living because of Creek Nation's housing rehabilitation program. In health care, the tribe set a shining example which others have now followed. Creek Nation's health care delivery system was even featured in a nationally broadcast segment of the PBS program, NOVA. And in the field of health, the Creeks have been the first tribe in the nation to contract with the federal government to run their own health facilities, a hospital and four clinics. Sophisticated diagnostic tests, such as ultrasound, are readily available to patients at the hospital. And if a treatment can't be provided here, the patients are driven to Tulsa, an hour away. The Creeks Health Care Program has become a model for other tribes in the nation to follow. There was some concern by the Indian Health Service that we could not provide the level of care that they had provided. However, we've shown that to be otherwise. The patient load has dramatically increased and we've been able to expand services. There's a strong community spirit among the people that uh, use the health facilities and that creates a very strong bond between the people that deliver the health care and the people that receive it. Creek Nation's community health centers are located in Zapalpa, Eufaula, and Okima. Dental clinics are located in Eufaula, Zapalpa, and Oatmulgee. The tribe's control of health care has eliminated waste in the system and increased cost effectiveness. Good nutrition is also an essential part of good health, and Creek Nation is having a positive impact there, too. First with the implementation of the Elderly Nutrition Program, which has been operating in Creek communities since 1981, and second with the administration of the tribe's Commodity Food Distribution Program, which began in 1982 the first tribally operated program in the country. These two programs help ensure that low income and elderly Indian people get good basic nutrition daily. Creek Nation has been so efficient in its administration of programs and its accounting and reporting procedures that the tribe has been awarded their certificate of compliance in financial reporting for seven consecutive years. This is the highest form of recognition in the area of governmental financial reporting. In 1982, the tribe assumed the management and operation of all programs previously run by the Bureau of Indian Affairs in the Creek Nation area. 
This move further reduced duplication of services and improved the performance of these programs for the good of all Indians within the Creek Nation jurisdiction. But these accomplishments were possible primarily because of education, the education of Indian people. Indian people learning how to manage, how to compete, how to succeed. Creek people of all ages benefit from the tribe's current educational and training programs. For preschoolers, there are Creek Nation Head Start Centers in Jaeger, Eufaula, Sapalpa, and Oatmulgee. These programs ensure that four-year-olds do get a head start in life by providing them with early childhood development activities and hot nutritional meals. For middle school and high school students, special youth programs provide skills training and leadership training for tomorrow's adults. For older students, further assistance is available in the form of scholarships to vocational schools and universities anywhere in the United States. But education has been a high priority with the Creeks for over 100 years. In Indian Territory days, the tribe built its own boarding schools, hired its teachers, and educated its youth to be successful in the white man's world. The Eufaula Boarding School, once supervised by Alexander Posey, is the only reminder of that era. In modern surroundings, with the latest educational technology, Indian students continue to receive an education that enables them to face the challenges of their times. Many other Creek children are educated in small rural public schools scattered throughout the Creek Nation. There they learn what it takes to achieve in today's competitive society. Athletics can provide keys to understanding competition and building self-confidence. Many Creek youth excel in sports, softball, basketball, track, and rodeo. Indian youth and adults get a chance to participate in these events and more during the annual Creek Nation Festival. Thousands converge on Omogi each year during the third weekend in June for fun, food, and recreation. Athletic competition is a key ingredient, including the Creek Nation All Indian Rodeo. It's held in the tribe's own rodeo arena, designed and built through Creek Nation's Economic Development Program. Economic development is a primary tribal objective now and the centerpiece of Creek Nation's economic strength is high-stakes bingo. Creek Nation's Tulsa Bingo, located on tribal land on the Arkansas River, employs over 100 Indians and brings in a monthly profit to the tribe in excess of $150,000. Other bingo operations affiliated with the tribe are located in Bristow, Eufaula, and Oatmulgee, and their total monthly profit exceeds $35,000 and a variety of other economic ventures are being explored that will help the tribe reach its goal of self-sufficiency. The Creek Nation administration has been a leader among tribal governments for nearly two decades and the tribe's social and economic programs are among the best in Indian country. As we move toward the 1990s, Creek Nation will be able to expand, grow and mature building on the firm foundation already in place. Continuity in tribal leadership and continuing economic progress will ensure the Creek people of a secure future into the 21st century.